everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Tries Damaged in Transit. Anytime I get a... I'm a glutton for punishment, let's just put it that way. Anytime I get the chance to play a puzzle game, especially one uh, described as designed to be devilishly difficult, I jump at it as an opportunity to perhaps preserve my dignity, even though in every puzzle game I've ever played on the channel, I've made myself look like a fool, except occasionally in, like, escape room style context, but even then pretty rarely. Um, this is a code I received from the developers, thank you for that, and it did come out a few days ago on Steam. It's 15 bucks. The way I understand it, you, I don't want to call it programming, necessarily, because I'm not sure yet, but I believe that... I mean, I'm just gonna say programming because I was gonna be like, you script the actions and behaviors of a robot. Um, but you... Try to get the robots safely through a series of ordered instructions. From point A to point B, maybe accomplishing some objectives on the way. We're gonna find out for ourselves as we get started here. I hope- oh my god, that is a lot of levels. I hope I am at least capable of making it through the tutorial. They want me to press the button. If you're not familiar, you know, you might be a zoomer. You might not be familiar with what that icon in the bottom right means. That means push a button to move forward. It was very common in arcade games back in the day. Foreman, we need your drones at the port. Are you in? Absolutely. We're in. There we go. Sailing from Alcatraz to San Francisco on a boat made of old newspapers. Drones will move straight until they touch an arrow. Okay? I understand. So we gotta move the arrows in order to get them where they need to go. I, can I tell you something as well? I'm gonna lower the volume somewhat here, if you'll give me a moment. That will require going to the volume mixer. So it's it's less of a... So I know I called it programming earlier, and I said I wasn't gonna do that. It turns out I may have been grossly mistaken. I feel like instead, uh, it's almost like... At least in the early game here, seems like... Not a real-time strategy game necessarily, but it, it, it's more of a, a real-time puzzle-solving experience as opposed to like, hey, write drone behavior in advance. Okay, let's get going here. Less talking, more pressing. How about less talk, more play? So it's a very simple flowchart right now, a very simple behavior tree. When the final drone is past the last arrow, you change the previous arrow. Or you change the preceding arrow, I should say. Just point us <laughs> in the right direction. This is easy money. Okay. I appreciate the gentleness of this tutorial. I've played some puzzle games recently that were not gentle with their tutorial. I, by the way, I probably should move my camera. It's gonna be one of those episodes where I'm moving things around nonstop. Here, I'll tell you what I'll do, okay? I, I hate to alt-tab so many times early in the video, it's bad for engagement. That's what I'm gonna do right there. I'm gonna make myself tiny. Hello. Okay. Oh, okay, now we got one drone that's further ahead. I get it, so there's a little bit of asynchronous sort of... Oh, I've sent him into the drink! <laughs> I get it now. But yeah, the tutorial started quite gently. There we go. And we will figure it out as we go. I have seen this described, again, as delightfully devilish, Seymour. So I am a little bit concerned about... Okay. Well, I, I think I'm, I'm getting down to brass tacks here, if this makes sense. Oh, and I sent him into the drink immediately. You gotta use... You gotta use your brain's parallel processing capabilities to manage two different shopping cart drones at once. I understand. It's not hard or whatever. Oh! Okay, we can just keep one in transit. <laughs> oh no. I'm realizing now. This is... Oh! So much harder than I thought it was gonna be, dude. Oh no. What have I done to myself? He's actually done it! Okay, we've made it through like the fourth tutorial level. Oh my word. Touching arrows at the same time can be a problem. Let's see if we can stagger our approach. Alright, I mean, what's the... What's the problem? Ah, I see. So the, both of them will reach the arrows in the, the right side at the same time. So we gotta... We gotta slow one down. 
What if we sent you up first? Literally um, did exactly the same thing. Okay, so don't send him up first. What if what if you sent him on a no? You can't send him on a loop. Okay, what if you sent him right first? There, dude. We kind of did it, except we didn't because there's no arrow at the bottom here for them to work with. Okay, let's try it again. Send them back, and then send them forward. Yo, you genius! He's figuring it out. Bit by bit, inch by inch, row by row. The spikes are responding to every button pressed. Oh, really? <laughs> it's never gonna be enough for you, is it? Alright, send them down. They alternate. Okay, that time you just gotta like be a little bit faster and less bad. I see what we gotta do. So we gotta throw in... Not smart. We've got to throw in some erroneous button presses from time to time. In order to make it through. Just set, use A to send them forward. There you go. Oh, that's no good. There you go. There you go. There you go. My lord, he's doing it. He's actually done it. People thought it was impossible. They thought the boomer brain... Couldn't handle parallel processing with this kind of throughput. Left, 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 never press right. He's done it. You do have to press down once. They didn't put that in the instructions. I had to derive that for myself at runtime. You can change the difficulty in the settings. Alright, great start. It's tough. It's tough. I okay, I think I got it. Okay, let me let me walk you through this, all right? Maybe sometimes it's better to process it in advance. On the top, we're just going to keep pressing right in alternating presses so that South Robot can make it through. Then we're going to send down and we're going to alternate down presses so that North Robot can get through that little vertical passage. Then we're they're both going to be synced up, I think, so we're going to send them to the left and we're going to alternate left presses so they can both get to their shopping carts and commerce can continue unabated and the supply chains will not be interrupted. Ah, oh, I was a step away! Try again. Okay. Oh, he's so good! <laughs> it's a bit of a brain breaker, that's for sure. One drone at a time. First ship, and then the handle. Okay. So, I'm, I'm assuming... Ship is the big cardboard box, and handle is the poster tubes. I, I think, okay, I'm looking at it like it's a loop, right? So I think maybe right, or sorry, top robot can get to the bottom, and we can keep left robot, which is also known as bottom robot, but, you know, I don't know what they do in their home life. Um, in the up and down little, like, ba-boom, 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 you know, like a, like a basketball. Nope. <laughs> Hold on. No, no, no. I think I think we can do it. First ship, then handle. I mean, there's no way we can trap um, the top robot. The top robot has to go first. That's it's just it is known. So you must press down to begin with. Here's my next step. Yeah, I mean, that's... Oh, I wonder if we can keep the robot trapped between the shipping crate? That would be my next step here. Yeah, you can. Okay. So we want to start by doing this. I'm gonna get it. It's harder than it looks, okay? Okay, so we can do it like this. We needed an erroneous button press in there. That's not going to be as easy as I'd like. Hold on. I think we want to start them. And then double press A. He's the greatest player of all time. We're already learning the language of the game. The diction, the dialect, and the vernacular. 
We're locked out. You gotta get some keys. Okay. So, I mean, it's very simple. You're just gonna hit him with one of these. And then one of these. And then one of these. You're gonna go to the left on this one. And then you're gonna let him go into the drink without actually really apparently even trying to keep him alive, which is uh, a little embarrassing for me. Oh, I did it again! Well, talking about the very thing that I was trying to avoid. Okay, get ready. I am a fool. I am a fool. You can see it coming in slow motion. I'm sure if you're watching at home, you're like, he's gonna get hit by this bike. You know what? You're wrong. I'm gonna I'm gonna fall into the ocean. I'm gonna fall into the San Francisco Bay. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel like I'm trying to talk like a young Al Pacino or something. I don't know what's going on here. I hit it three times instead of two times, which is the wrong number. We need something that is the Medulo operator is applied to it, and it leaves us with the result of zero, not a result of a non-zeroed integer. Legendary performance. He's done it. Well, I gotta say, like... I'm gonna level with you here. I don't want to talk while I'm playing because I think that it requires a little bit too much brain power. However, it's definitely a unique concept for a puzzle game. Most puzzle games don't actually have too many aspects of Twitch gameplay. <laughs> Not Twitch TV. I mean Twitch like you've got to act within like a certain pretty narrow window of time in order to accomplish the, the solution. Um, I like it because I think that it actually means for me the ordered slow methodical puzzles are tougher because they're designed to be tougher because you have infinite time whereas me i'm like haha controller go burr i just want to press the buttons you know there's like a very simple way to derive the solution it's the actual execution of the solution that's a, a little bit um where the degree of difficulty comes from it's something like this which i like i think it's very unique what have i done oh only gone and been a legend. Oh! On sight read? Oh, that's a beautiful sound. Restart with two rectangles if you get stuck. All right. Hey, you uh, stinky bird. Get out of the oh, what are you doing? <laughs> it just doesn't really make any sense at all. He's done it? I think we took too many clock cycles on that one. A Zachtronics player would be upset. We took too many steps, but the solution has been uncovered. What the heck are these robots, dude? Okay, you cannot follow me. Where I'm going, you may not follow. Yeah, yeah, you need to send the one to the right on that one. I understand. I've already got the solution cooked up in the old Cerebrum. You just gotta give me a moment to actually make it work here. There you go. Again, I, I, I do feel like we could probably design that to be a little bit more efficient, but uh, that's never really been my strong suit in these games. Now this is spicy. I, I think I got it. I think it looks something like this. And then just keep this guy trapped here. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's never gonna work. No, no, I actually, I, you know what? I think I do have it. I think we can just keep one trapped in a loop. Yeah, yeah, okay. See, like, this is fine. Not efficient, but fine. Well, I got one to the exit. Shouldn't that count for something? It's the synchronicity. The synchronicity is sending us here. The synchronicity is sending us, okay? You're, you're like, what are you doing? Hey, it's hard, okay? I did literally exactly the same thing. Here's, what, here's my new step, okay? I want to trap one in the lock, if possible. 
Is such a thing even possible? They're, they get to the same place! At the same time. Yo, yo, no, 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 that was it. Okay. Just do whatever you did right there. But better. Oh, you dummy, dude! We were one step away, I think, from having a, a chance to have solved the puzzle. Yeah, yeah, just send him into the drink, whatever, who cares? Great work. No, 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 that was it! You keep him trapped here. Then you send him to the left. And then, oh, he's actually done it, I can't believe it. I honestly thought we might get stuck there forever. There is a depot for each of you. Alright. Well. Wouldn't think that that's gonna go too well. Man, the complexity has ramped up in a huge way. Okay, send the first one right. Then we're going up. Then we're, can't go left on that one. Fair enough. It's an iterative design. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm a fool. We were one away. Okay, try that again. No, you could have waited one step. I apologize. I know you're like, he's not even talking in this video. That's because 100% of my gray matter is absorbed in trying to get a single solution to happen here. <laughs> Broken arrows will not change. It should be easier if we group up before heading to the keys. All right, great start. All right, all right. Um, well, okay then. Here's what I'm thinking. I, I, I'm just gonna level with you. I said, here's what I'm thinking. Nothing entered my brain. I just said to myself subconsciously, hey, let's try something and if it works, you're gonna look like a genius. Let's group up. They said. Where where should we group up? Here. Maybe. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I didn't do anything, dude. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Come on. I'm just I'm just hitting B over and over. I'm I'm, I'm very embarrassed. I think realistically we want to grab the keys with a counterclockwise loop, and then we can just take the circuitous route. But you're right, it would be easier to group up. Okay, this is this is fine. But can we ever get like We're not really grouped, you know what I mean? We never end up being on the same side. But I guess I could super send you. Nope. All right, let's just let the old uh, brainstem handle this one. How do you feel about that? What if we just let the old brains They hit the thing at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe not exactly the same time. Oh, dude, you were there. You were there. Okay, try it again. You're good. You 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 blew yourself up. Okay, but we we got this one. It's not as hard as it looks. My god, he's actually done it. But we only got one of the keys. <laughs> you can only carry one key at a time, I understand. Yo, but this is pretty good. Yo! Yo! I can't believe it.
I don't believe it. He somehow managed to make it happen. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. This looks like one of Apollo's Mario Maker levels. I hate becoming the YouTuber dude, I just scream. Let's if you distill it down to brass tacks, we only control two arrows. So we're just gonna hit up many times, then when they're past the bottom right arrow, we're gonna hit left many times. We just have to make sure we're doing it in sequence. So it's gonna start with an up. Nope. You don't you don't you don't pivot to the left as quickly as you did right there. Okay. Try again. Not my tempo. Not my tempo. You just let him walk into the spike. You got. You got to get a little bit closer to the window on that one. You failed in the same way a few times in a row here. You're okay. You kept hitting up! You kept hitting up! I kept hitting up! I kept hitting up. No, you didn't even remove the spike that time. You just let him... <laughs> you just let him walk into it! You just let him walk into the spike. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Now we go left. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I feel my head heating up. Um, and I'm looking at this board, and my brain is going, no, not right now. This is for later. This is for when I have a little bit more time. But suffice it to say, I'm very impressed, actually, particularly with the design of uh, Damaged in Transit. I think this is, uh, it, it, what originally appears to be kind of a minimalistic sort of game becomes very ma maximalistic and saturates your entire cerebral cortex very quickly. Also as a co-op mode where I think one player controls... Hold on, you know what? This is where you, you go to the Steam page and you see what's going on at co-op. Nobody controls the drone. Hold on, I have it in email as well. If you just give me a moment, we're gonna go... Because uh, this, is, this is responsible journalism. One player can point arrows left and right, the other points them up and down. Oh my god. A great test for your the strength of your relationship. <laughs> anyway, this is 15 bucks, it's available on Steam. Very interesting puzzle game that I actually feel like appeals to my strengths uh, more than a lot of other puzzle games. I like it a lot. That'll be available on Steam. You can go check it out via the link in the video description below. If you enjoy the video, click the like button. It encourages me to make more Northern Lion tries about puzzle games and put my intelligence on the line. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for your support. I'm in the comments replying and giving you the occasional heart. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!